what you're building is bigger than anything you can even imagine. And when people say, you know, what's your secret? It's like, I really just believe in myself. I believe in myself when it comes down to content creation, when it comes down to selling, serving my clients. It's like deep belief in yourself and having faith that everything is working out for you is actually the secret to getting incredible results inside of your business. There are so many times in my business where the supernatural takes over, where it's just like, I don't even know how that happened. And Tony Robbins talks about this a lot, but it's like, stop looking for the how, commit first, go all in, and it will, the how will present itself. I've always been someone who just moves. She takes action. She shows up. She has this massive vision for her life. And then she just starts moving. And all of a sudden on the journey, the how presents itself. It comes clearer on, it becomes clearer on what I should be doing. And a lot of people get stuck on, am I in the right, am I on the right pathway? Am I making the right actions? But you won't actually know that until you're out there. And so your greatest asset is the deepest faith in yourself. The most dangerous thing you can do is believe in yourself. In a world that wants to make you believe that you need external validation, you need a degree, you need a job, you need a relationship, you need the house, whatever it is, Dare to believe in yourself. It is one of the best things that you can do of you've got the sauce that's going to take you to multi-millions. Like every single thing that you want it to do is 100% possible. You have that delusion that it, that it is, then it will happen. I think about it this way. Everything I've asked for in my business has come to life. Everything. Like when I first started my business and I have the picture of me on, um, of my vision board of me saying $5,000 a month, be your own boss, travel the world and host retreats. All of those things have happened. And so much more. I think a lot of times entrepreneurs, they're just not asking for enough. They're not asking for a lot. And it's like, if you're good with whatever amount of money you're making and you want to stay there, awesome, stay there. But then don't be envious or blame or be jealous or make fun of other people when they're going for more. Because if that's the case, then deep down somewhere, you actually desire more. I look at the, when I'm making money and look at new goals, not as how can I make more money in my bank account? How can I have more money in my bank account or more material things? I'm so fascinated by who can I become? Who can you become? Because at every single level, it requires a different skill set. It requires you to love yourself more. It requires you to be more confident, more certain in who you are. It requires you to have more belief and trust and, and a deeper relationship with God. This is how I've scaled to a million dollars. And I'm, this is how I'll scale to a hundred million and beyond of, I believe in Bridget James Lang. I know what she has to offer. I know it's incredible. And so you follow that pathway, you're going to be so successful in no matter what you're building. And I know if you're in Freedom Queen and you're listening to this, you know that you're unique. You know that you're different, that you have this crazy big vision to get to a million dollar months, to get to like just creating something that's never been done before. And 
I'm really like the, the women that I work with now and the women that I call in and, in the, and some in the past are women that genuinely are so passionate about the movements that they're building that nothing is going to get in their way. And they're going to have the time of their lives and they're going to be creative and they're going to take care of themselves. I'm genuinely for the visionary. The visionary, this person that has incredible insight on what is possible for them and, and is delusional enough to make it happen. I had someone comment on my TikTok recently. They said, you're delusional. And I was like, yes, yes, I am. Being delusional is what has made me a million dollars. Being delusional is what allowed me to quit my job without really having a plan. Being delusional is what has allowed me to be debt free. Being delu like, yes. I am playing in a realm that you simply are not playing in. I am in a, a, a delusion. <laughs> I'm creating an illusion for myself until that becomes my reality. So I want you to look at your life and just ask yourself, where, are, where can you be bigger? Where can you ask for more? Where can you say, you know what, this vision is awesome and I'm so grateful and I'm ready for the next thing. I truly know that every single person in Freedom Queen, you are iconic, you're different, you have something special about you. And when you really realize that, that's when you're going to start making a lot of money. It's when you try and blend in, fit in with everyone else, that you fall off and you lose yourself. But the more that you're like, who am I? The more that you think to yourself, you are incredible, I am incredible. The more that you remember that you're an icon, the more money you're going to make. So I want you to start asking for more. I want you to wake up and realize how powerful you are. I want you to stop being consumed by so many other people and what they're saying and just be like, you know what, F it. This is who I am. This is what I'm doing. I am the one. I am the person that goes all in. You are, insert your name here, and then go out and make it happen and do it. Freedom Queen, if you got value out of this episode, comment, like, share it to your Instagram stories, and I will see you in the next one.